How's it going guys? My name is TJP and today we're going to another my NBA video. Well, today we're doing a WNBA video and we're going to be doing a fantasy draft rebuild challenge in the WNBA. Now, we've done this in the NBA already, so let's try to do it in the WNBA. Might as well, right? So if you guys like this kind of content, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment down below some more future rebuilding videos or just video ideas in general that you guys might have. There's something in my eye. I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas, just like I said, let me know down in the comments below. While you guys are down there, make sure to check out my description, which has a playlist cont containing other My NBA Might Be Rebuilds, as well as my Twitch or Discord, uh, which you guys should check out or join and follow. Uh, with that being said, though, let's get on into the gameplay. All right, so I turned off a bunch of, like, rules, like, trade rules, injuries are off, uh, and I also turned off league rules, just because I didn't want to deal with those. So basically, no one's protected, we're just going to have a full fantasy draft, and we're just going to pick a random team, see who we get, and 3, 2, 1, I picked the team, and we're going to be the Atlanta Dream, I guess. So, again, it's a fantasy draft, so it really doesn't matter. Let's see what pick we get. Um... Interestingly enough, it looks like we are getting the eighth pick, so let's choose a player. So, interestingly enough, I should have loaded a roster that didn't have injuries on, but I didn't do that because I didn't think about that. So, uh, who should my first player be? Well, I don't want someone that's going to be out for, with personal reasons for the next eight to ten months. So, I think with that... In consideration, I'm going to take Nina, Natasha Howard with our uh, first pick. All right, with our next pick, I'm going to pick up Kayla McBride, shooting guard. Uh, with our third pick, I'm going to pick up Maisha Hines-Allen. She always wins six women of the year, so she's a nice player to have on the squad. So for our center position, we're going to pick up Tiara McCowan to man or woman the paint. I'm going to need a point guard to run the offense, so Courtney Williams will be our point guard. I'm going to pick up Kayla Thornton to be our small forward. I'm going to pick up Kayla Davis to maybe be our backup small forward, um, or just another small forward, some more depth. I'm going to pick up uh, Leilani Mitchell uh, to be a, I guess, backup point guard for our team. So I'm going to pick Lauren Cox just because she's here, and she usually develops into a really good player, so we're going to pick her, even though she'll be missing this entire season. I'm going to pick up Azura Stevens. I don't know why her forehead's very big in this picture. Um, 2K kind of did her dirty there a little bit, but we're going to pick her on the squad. I'm going to pick up another young player, Mate Gazorla. Again, out for personal reasons for 10, 8 to 10 months. And with my final pick, I'm going to pick up Alexis Jones to round out the team. And I think that is it. So let's take a look and see how good our team is. Uh, I'm just gonna. I don't want to do that. So exit without saving. Just auto generate. Um, so let's take a look at our roster. So we have Natasha Howard, Kayla McBride, Maisha Hines Allen, Tierra McCowan, Courtney Williams, Kayla Thornton, Lilani Mitchell, Kayla Davis, Azura Stevens, Lauren Cox, who is no longer. No longer has personal reasons. Interesting. Um, and neither does Monte Cazola. Okay, cool. And Alexis Jones. So it means I could have taken Liz Cambridge, but I didn't know. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. It is what it is. Anyways, um, not too bad of a team. Uh, so let's take a look at our uh, coaching game plan. So we're starting to line up Leilani Mitchell with Kayla McBride, Kayla Thornton, Natasha Howard, and Tierra McCowan with Mike Shines Allen. Courtney Williams, Jura Stevens, Kayla Davis getting minutes off the bench, and then you got the rest of the team here. Three other ladies, Monte Cazorla, Alexis Jones, and Lauren Cox. I could technically play 12. I could play all of them, but I'm not going to do that. So we're going to keep it at nine. Nikki Collin is our coach. Let's take a look at our system proficiency. Do we have anything that might be better than three and a half? No, we don't. So... I think I'm just going to rock with this team. If I want to make a move at the deadline, I will. But otherwise, I'm just going to see you guys at the start or just to see the deadline and show you guys the stats. All right, so we're currently 14 and 12. Not too bad. We're second in our conference, so I'm pretty sure we would make the playoffs. There are four ladies averaging double fairs, nearly five. Tasha Howard's a bit of a disappointment, actually. I don't know why. She's only averaging, uh, well, maybe she's not a scorer, I guess. But um, I am curious to see. Yeah, Maisha Hines Allen is putting up good numbers, so I imagine she'll win sixth woman of the year, but you never know. That usually is her reward, so 
Uh, I'm gonna see if I could maybe fish an offer for like a, a maybe like a pick this year. We it seems like we have a lot of picks. Um, but maybe that's just me. Yeah, I think we just have like a third round pick from the Wings and the Mercury, second round pick from the Mercury. So I'm gonna see if I can make a move for these picks at a future first and see if we can get like a good player. I didn't really like any of the offers I was getting, so I'll just rock with this team. I'll simulate the rest of the season. I'll show you guys the stats and go from there. Well, Asia Wilson was the most valuable player, 23 and 14. Yeah, that's going to give you the most MVP, the most valuable player. Also very efficient as well. And she's also on the Seattle Storm, which is interesting. Um, Aisha Hyde Allen on the Dream was the uh, sixth one of the year. I uh, wouldn't expect anything less from her. She didn't shoot that great from the line, but other than that, her stats all around are nice. Brittany Griner, Defense Player of the Year on the Los Angeles Sparks. Mercedes Russell was the most improved player. Uh, what did she improve from? Uh, yeah, she did improve. I'd say she improved. Cheryl Reeves was the Coach of the Year, and then executive of the year goes to Amber Coral. So, not too bad there. Let's take a look at the All-NBA, or Double all nba First Teams. Two Las Vegas Aces, because of Sabrina and Asuka and Atlanta Deladon. Uh, are we gonna have any Atlanta Dream on here? Doesn't really seem like it. Yeah, no Atlanta Dream. However, we did make the playoffs. We were the six seeds. We're taking on the Mystics in the first round. I and mean, remember, guys, in the WNBA, it's only one game, so we need to kind of win the game or else we're screwed. But let's take a look at this player stats. So five women average double figures. So that's nice. Uh, everyone else here, for the most part, is happy except for uh, these two ladies. But I think every other lady is happy. So that's nice to see. Let's take a look at the coaching, just adjust that. There we go. So <clears throat> we're taking on Washington in round one. Let's sim through the game. Let's see if we end up beating them. And we don't. We get eliminated. So we lost to them. I don't know what the score was. Uh, we lost to them by 16. So yeah. Uh, we have a lot to do in this offseason. They ended up winning the championship, the Mystics. And John Kell Jones was the finals MVP. So good for her, I guess. And uh, I guess we're going on an offseason. All right, so we're at free agency, and it looks like Elena Deladon and Brianna Stewart are both here, and so is... Okay, this free agency is a little bit interesting. Why is it like this? I don't know if it's because it's a fantasy draft, but that's weird. Why is it that she has one more year on her contract and she's a free agent? I don't understand that. That's a little bit weird. But maybe there's like some kind of option that I'm unaware of. Either way, we're going to try to see if we can get Elena Deladon. I would definitely take her on the squad. I mean, we're the only offer that she has. So, I mean, you know, uh, we don't need Azure Stevens. Honestly, I would sign Elena Deladon. I mean, granted, I will also offer Brianna Stewart a contract because why not? We get Elena Deladon. I'm cool with that. I am very, very cool with that. Brianna Stewart goes to Lynx. I'm fine with that. If I can get Tierra McCowan back, that'd be awesome. I don't think I can without going over, so I'd rather have Elena Deladon. So we're just going to sign her. She'll be a big free agent signing. We took John Kelly Jones as well, so I wonder if we could maybe look to make a trade. So I'm going to see if I can look to make some trades. We have pick 5, pick 10. So let's see if we can make a trade, Get try to get a good player. So we could do this deal with the Dallas Wings. We get a future first round pick of them, top 10 protected. We trade all of our picks this year and Leilani Mitchell, who's 36 years old anyway. And we get it back a Tiffany Hayes, uh, who is 32 and is 83 overall, so a better player. I will definitely do that deal. I feel like it makes our team better. Right, so I made Elena Deladon a small forward. And I'm going to see if we could trade some of these other picks to see if I can possibly get um, some better players. I'm going to do this deal with the Seattle Storm. We're going to trade um, first round pick in 2035. Uh, second round and two, two third rounders. We had a second round pick back in 2024 from the Seattle Storm and Mariah Jefferson. So I'm going to do this deal. All right, so in season number two, we are going to have Mariah Jefferson, Caleb McBride, Elena Deladon, Natasha Howard, and Lauren Cox are starting five. So Lauren Cox playing a little bit out of position, but that's fine with me. Maisha Hines Allen, once again off the bench with Courtney Williams. Uh, Tiffany Hayes and Kayla Davis getting minutes. Everyone else here is kind of just chilling. Um, honestly, the team is a lot better than it was last year, so I think we could definitely have a much better record. We actually have the number one power ranking, if that even means anything. 
So let's take a look at the uh, assistant proficiency. We have four stars as well, which is good. Very, very good. So we're going to keep four star. I'm going to see if we get to the deadline, see how good we are, show you guys the stats. Maybe make a move. Otherwise, I'll just show you guys the stats and then simulate the rest of the year. All right, well, we got off to a bit of a slow start, but we now are 19 and 9. So we are having a good year. Uh, we're just a, ga a half game behind the Mystics, who are the number one seed. The best team in the WNBA. Three women average double figures, which is nice to see from Atlanta Deladon, Courtney Williams, and Mike Hines Allen off the bench. I would assume she'll win six women of the year again. But, you know, you never know. Why is she shooting so much? That's really weird. Uh, I guess she's our leading shot taker. Uh, but everyone else, you know, for the most part, playing their role, doing really, really well. Uh, in terms of coaching game plan, I'm just going to adjust these minutes. I'm not going to make any deals. I'm not going to make any trades. We're just going to rock with the team the way it is. And maybe in the offseason, I'll make a move or two. Because I would like to get Asia Wilson, if that's possible. Especially if we don't win a championship, we definitely need to get Asia Wilson. So... Uh, yeah, let's uh, simulate the rest of the year, and I'll see you guys once I get there. All right, and speaking of Asia Wilson, MVP. She put up and ridiculous numbers. Although her three-point percentage was 8.6%. That is terrible. I guess she's really not a shooter, but yeah. She probably also won Defense Player of the Year, I'd assume. Uh, eight, uh, Aislinn Peters was the Rookie of the Year. Uh, she looks like she's a solid player from I don't know where. Doesn't tell you, right? Uh, Mike Shines Allen, once again, sixth one of the year, uh, put up some nice stats. Her no efficiency is kind of bad, though, but you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take what we can get. Brittany Kreiner was actually defense player of the year. Uh, definitely Asia Wilson got snubbed. Uh, Diamond to Shields, most improved player. And then Derek Fisher, the Fisherman, uh, coach of the year. He actually goes to David Yu, who might be our executive, actually. Yeah, uh, no, he's not. Okay. I thought he was our executive, but here's your all NBA first, all WB first team, and all WB second team. We do actually have two. Uh, well, no, we only have one on all WB second team, and that's Elena Deladon, who has a lot of badges as well, which is awesome. She put up some nice big numbers there uh, 15 points, 7.3 rounds, 2.6 assists. So that's good to see from her. Um, apparently, she was on the. Las oh, yeah, she was on the Las Vegas Aces. I guess we signed her, right? Oh, yeah, we did sign her. I thought we drafted her for some odd reason. Yeah, but uh, good, good. Oh, 50, 40, 90 as well. That's impressive. That is very, very impressive. Also, Natasha Howard, all defensive. Yeah, good defensive numbers. 1.2 steals, 0.8 blocks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Everyone else here, yeah, for the most part, nothing great. And obviously, we gave the Dallas Wings a bunch of picks. So of course, they're going to have a lot of rookies. And like I said, we were the number two seed, so we were definitely one of the better teams in the WNBA, number one in our conference. Let's take a look at the stats, though. See what else, see how everyone else did. And yeah, you know, you can see here, three women averaged double figures, uh, which is nice. A uh, lot of women averaged over seven. Nearly, actually, seven women averaged over seven. Nearly eight, if you include Lauren Cox. Pretty much almost our entire team uh, that, you know, stepped on the court this year, right? So... Uh, let's simulate to where we are going to be. And we are taking on the three city mystics in round number three in this WNBA semifinals. And it's going to be a five game series. So I want to just adjust the coaching game plan just to make sure that we're all set in stone with the team. So let's simulate game one and they beat us by seven in game one, game two, we even up the series at one game three. We're up two one. Can we go up three one and go to the WNBA finals? No, we're going to game five. Going to a game five, got Simu with Simcast. Give more minutes to Caleb McBride. Why is my coach not giving more minutes to Caleb McBride? I don't know. Winner takes on the Los Angeles Sparks. That's going to be an interesting matchup. So let's Simu with Simcast. Here we go. Quarter one, the Atlanta Dream get the win. Quarter two, Mystics. Quarter three, Mystics. And yep, we lost by seven. So we are not going to the WMA Finals. It'll be the Mystics again. And the Sparks win the championship in five games with Brittany Griner being the finals MVP. So we definitely have to get a big WNBA free agent, preferably Asia Wilson, because I'm pretty sure she'll be a free agent, but I don't even know. I didn't check my contracts. I think we also have a couple free agents as well. So we have to try to re-sign them as well. All right, so we're at free agency. We do have Natasha Howard and Kayla McBride to bring back. So we actually do have a lot of people to bring back. Actually, pretty much my entire team needs to be brought back. So that's... That's not good. That's not good. But we do have a lot of money, so I think we could possibly throw an offer at 
She was, but she wants to go to the storm. She doesn't want to come to the dream. Yeah, we're not on our, we're not high on our priority list. So I think I'm just gonna sign like pretty much everybody back. Maybe I'll offer Arike a contract as well. Maybe she'll want to come to our team. It doesn't really look like it. So uh, I'm just gonna give back Natasha Howard a deal. So we give back Natasha Howard. That's cool. Asia Wilson goes to Storm, and Arike goes to the Mystics. So I'm just gonna offer Kayla McBride. Courtney Williams, uh, Kayla Davis. Just try to get most of my team back on the roster. Tiffany Hayes and uh, Alexis Jones. We'll go for them. So I think we got most of the team back. And I mean, I'm curious to see what other needs we need. I'm pretty sure we do need a center. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine players on the team. So I'm going to try to fill the rest of the roster, see if I can get some good players, maybe make some trades um, right before the uh, draft, and I will see you guys once I fill out the rest of the roster or make a move. All right, so I'm going to do this deal with the Indian Fan of Fever. I know I'm giving up Natasha Howard, but I'm going to get back uh, Aislinn Peters, who that rookie who won Rookie of the Year. We're also going to get back Demi uh, Demiris Dantas, and we're going to trade out some... A couple first round picks and we're not going to use them anyway so it doesn't really matter um i did lose out on lauren cox i can't afford her so she'll just not be on the team which is kind of unfortunate but uh, it is what it is right so um other than that though i do want to see what other moves i can make because i'm probably just going to end up doing some trades all right i'm going to do this deal with the uh storm we're going to get shanika strickland uh, and we're gonna do a pick swap with them. We're gonna trade uh, all these picks right here that you guys can see on the screen right now I don't feel like going through them. So it doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna do this deal with the fever actually I think I'm gonna give up Courtney Williams We're gonna get Cheyenne Parker back and pick five this year for 2022 first round pick uh, Next year, so I'm gonna do this deal. All right, so we're just gonna sign this rookie Stacy Batista um, I just couldn't find a really good trade. So uh, I guess we could just develop her as well We got a new trainer, which is nice I'm going to send uh, Aislinn Peters to untapped potential. We're also going to send Daisy Batista there, so that's nice. And then let's just send my Chines Allen. Might as well. Uh, I'll see you guys next season. All right, so we're doing our third season now, as you can see here. Uh, the team uh, is oh, looking okay. A lot of depth, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be... I think we're okay. I think we're doing decent. Uh, we have Elena Daladon still leading the way. Caleb McBride still here. My Chines Allen... Uh, Demiris Dantas, Cheyenne Parker, Aislinn Peters, Myra Jefferson, Kayla Davis, Tiffany Hayes, who has definitely gone down. I feel like her overall has gone down. Alexis Jones and Shanika Strickland with Stacey Batista. So let's take a look at our coach game plan, see what the rotation is. And as you can see here, that is the rotation that we're rocking with. We have a new coach, by the way, Michael Stauffer. He likes to run an 11-man rotation, which doesn't make any sense. So we're just going to run a 9-woman rotation. And in terms of system proficiency... Uh, pace and space, three and a half stars. Might as well just run that. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to submit to a deadline, deadline once again. 13% team chemistry. Hopefully that goes up. Um, but uh, we're number two in the power ranking, number one confidence rank. So let's see if we can do really, really well and win the championship this year. Because we definitely need to. All right, so at the trade deadline, we are 18 and 7. So we are having a really good season. Uh, Angelin Peters is doing her thing. Lena Deladon doing her thing. Caitlin McBride doing her thing. Three women after double figures. Five over nine points a game, so that's nice to see. So yeah, the team's performing really, really well. Um, so yeah, that's nice to see. Nice to see. So um, let's take a look here at the... Um, Uh, I guess the stats. Did I show you guys the stats? I showed you guys the stats. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I got sidetracked. Okay. Um, anyways, I think that's, uh, I think, yeah, 18 and 7 is not too bad. I, I do want to see the standings. So, yeah, we are 18 and 7, but we're tied, I guess, with the best record. Although we're technically not. We're basically a game up, but I don't know. On the At least on the links. In terms of the best overall in the WNBA, so we'll take it. So, yeah, let's simulate the rest of the season. Not going to make any moves. It's championship robust. Asia Wilson, once again, MVP. Laquanda Brooks, rookie of the year. Six money goes to Chenity Carter. Uh, wow, she had really good numbers. Uh, Brittany Grinder, best player of the year. Most approved goes to Lauren Cox, who could have been on our team, but you know, she couldn't couldn't afford her. 
Cheryl Eve is the coach of the year, and then Amber Coral, executive of the year. Uh, here's your all WAB first team, all WAB second team, and then your defensive first and second. We got Asian Peters on all defensive second teams. That's nice to see. Her numbers are going up, as you can see there, and uh, that's good to see from her. Uh, any rookies on here? Nope. So, yeah, no rookies. But we were the number two seed once again in our conference. And let's take a look here at the uh, player stats uh, right over here. So you guys can take a look here. So, yeah, three women average double figures. Um, and then five women averaged over nine points a game. You guys can pause and take a look if you guys want to see them more in depth. So let's... Let's win the championship, guys. Come on, Dream. We gotta win the championship. Take on the Mystics again. We can't get eliminated by them again, right? Surely not. They beat us in game one by three points. Okay, we tie up the series at one. They're up 2-1. How? Why are they up 2-1, 2K? Okay. Winner takes on the Lynx, but why are they up 2-1? Okay, they won the first quarter. They blew us out, and they're blowing us out. So we get eliminated. Okay. I don't know. That's really weird. Lynx win the championship. Brianna Stewart, finals MVP. I'm going to do one more season, I think. Let's do one more season, do or die. All right, so I'm going to be able to sign Brittany Griner and Maisha Hines Allen. Um, I'm just going to let Mariah Jefferson walk, or at least for now, I'll let her walk. Um, let me see if I can maybe offer her another contract, possibly. Uh, I can't. I would take over the limit. So we're probably just going to end up picking up Brittany Grinder and Mike Hines Allen. I will take that. Um, and we just basically need to fill out the rest of the roster. So I'm just going to pick up... Uh, I'm going to pick up a point guard. Let's just pick up Jordan Faulkner, I guess, on a minimum. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do... I'm gonna, I definitely have to make some moves. Because this team is uh, not looking too great. I'm going to do this deal with the Connecticut Sun. We're going to get two first-round picks, Isabel Harrison and Tiffany Hayes. We're going to get Crystal Dangerfield and a 2026 first-round pick swap. And I'm going to give I'm going to give the Suns even more picks. We're going to get a swap again back from them, and we're going to get Isabel Harrison back. Uh, Jameer Faulkner, just too low of an overall for us. Oh, we're going with uh, uh, this is our rotation. Crystal Dangerfield, Kayla McBride, Elena Deladon, Demiris Dantas, Brittany Griner. Team is kind of declining since Selena Deladon's overall is going down. We got Aislinn Peters, Maisha Hines Allen, Lindsay Allen, Brittany, Bria Hay Hartley off the bench, and then St Stacey Batista and Isabel Harrison. Do or die. So let's try to win the. Let, we're going to simulate the entire season. We've got to win the championship, though. If we don't win the championship, this video has been a failure. All right, Asia Wilson, once again, MVP, rookie of the year, Jesse Sundin. Courtney Vandersloot, six women of the year, defensive player, Asia Wilson. Lauren Cox, most improved player, coach of the year, Michael Stauffer. We went 26 and 10. Nice to see. And Pat Sims was our executive, 26 and 10. So that's nice to see. Very, very nice to see. And Asia Lynn Peters made all WNBA first team, uh, put up some big numbers here. That's awesome to see. And also Brittany Griner uh, making all WNBA first team as well. That's nice to see. Uh, so that was actually clutch. Very, very clutch. Also made all defensive first team as well. So that's nice to see. All defensive second team, Asia Lynn Peters as well is on there. That's good to see. Good to see. So yeah, we were the number one seed overall in the WNBA. So that's great. Uh, here's your stats. Six ladies averaged above nine. So that's great to see. Great to see. But it doesn't matter if we don't win a championship. So we need to win the championship this year. We're taking on the Las, Ve uh, Los Angeles Sparks. So game one, we beat them. Game two, can we beat them? They, be they beat us. So they even up the series. It's 2-1. How is it 2-2? Come on, 2K. 2K. Okay, there we go. Blew them out in the first quarter. They blew us out in the second. We beat them in the third quarter. It's close. And we lost. Okay. That makes sense, 2K. And they win the chip. John Kelly Jones, finals MVP. Well, I'm closing out the video. I have given up. <laughs> well, I haven't given up. I mean, I could do another season, but I just don't want to do it. All right, so unfortunately, we couldn't get the championship. Uh, sometimes stuff like that just ends up happening. But, you know, we gave it our best shot. We kind of got screwed over by 2K. But if you guys like this WNBA Fantasy Draft Rebuild Challenge, uh, make sure to leave it a like. Um... Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment down below with some more ideas. And also let me know if you thought this team should have won. Because I feel like we should have gotten the championship. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but anyways, guys, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care until the rest of your night. I'll see you all soon. Peace.